When you get sick, nobody wants to travel hundreds of miles away for care, but right now, that is the only option for several cancer and other illnesses here in Austin. Today we learned some doctors in South Austin, though, are breaking ground by performing the first bone marrow transplants in the city limits. KXN's Ignacio Garcia introduces us to an Austin woman making a great recovery after weeks of treatments. Good boy. There was a time in Nancy Guerra's life she didn't plan things too far ahead. Doctors diagnosed Nancy with multiple myeloma, a cancer of the blood in 2007. But everything changed when Nancy got a bone marrow transplant. A lot of fatigue still, and I'm working on that. But I'm able to do the things I like to do. Uh, for instance, taking my dogs out for a walk. So my energy is really getting a lot better. Nancy was the first ever patient to get a bone marrow transplant in Austin. Before now, anyone needing one would have to travel to San Antonio or Houston. It was really a blessing to me that I was able to get this extra boost to my remission and have the program right here in town. After several weeks of recovery, Nancy is enjoying a new lease on life. Dr. Lawrence Tokas says given Austin's booming senior population, the need for marrow transplants will only increase. The vast population spike that you see this disease in are patients that are in their 60s or 70s. This is a treatment now that can be delivered to those patients. Dr. Tokas says getting treatment close to home can sometimes help patients heal faster. There we go. A short trip to the hospital, Nancy hopes results in a long life. Ignacio Garcia, KXAN News. So far, doctors have performed six blood or marrow transplants in Austin, and there's a growing waiting list. You can help people fighting blood cancer as well. On Thursday, Delete Blood Cancer and Texas Oncology will host a bone marrow drive to register new donors. It will take place from 11 in the morning till 2 in the afternoon near St. David, South Austin at 4101 James Casey Street, Suite 100. That procedure is among several new opportunities for Austin cancer care. Earlier this year, Seton opened a new breast care center inside its hospital on 38th Street. The center will help women with breast cancer Cancer get comprehensive care in town rather than having to drive to Houston or Dallas. In 2012, voters in Austin approved a tax increase with money going towards central health to launch a medical school and a teaching hospital with the University of Texas. Supporters of the tax increase said training doctors in Austin would improve care in central Texas. 